so I've made a video on my favourite Mario Kart game, that being Mario Kart Wii, so I think it's about time I made one on my second favourite, that of course being Mario Kart DS. Mario Kart DS was my second Mario Kart game, I first played it a bit after Mario Kart Wii when I got my DSi for Christmas in 2010, and I played it all the time. It may not be my most played handheld Mario Kart game, but it's definitely the one I've had the most fun with. It has lots of good tracks, a good character roster, the mission modes and much more, which I will be getting into in this video. To start off, I want to talk about Mario Kart DS's Nitro and Retro tracks. A lot of good new tracks were introduced in this game like Delfino Square, Shroom Ridge, and the best of them all, Waluigi Pinball. But a Mario Kart game wouldn't be complete without its not so good tracks, and Mario Kart DS has a few. You've got TikTok Clock, Airship Fortress and Desert Hills, I know, unpopular opinion. The first two are loved tracks, but I've never really been a fan of them. New to Mario Kart DS is the Retro Track, and fun fact, this is the first Mario Kart game to introduce Retro Tracks to the series. Just like the Nitro tracks, you've got some good ones and some bad ones. The good ones include Chocoman from Mario Kart 64, Mushroom Bridge from Double Dash, and Sky Garden from Super Circuit. Then you have the bad retro tracks like Baby Park from Double Dash, and Luigi and Peach Circuit from Super Circuit. Next up is Mario Kart DS's character roster, and while it's smaller than Double Dash's, the roster is still pretty good. You've got the classic 8 characters back from 64 and Super Circuit, then you've got Daisy, Dry Bones, and Waluigi, who were nice additions to the roster. Waluigi's kind of overrated, Daisy's okay, but Dry Bones is pretty sick. But they're still good additions to the roster. And then you've got the odd one out, Rob. I made a video on unnecessary Mario Kart characters, and Rob was one of them. I don't know what was going through Nintendo's head when adding Rob. Yeah, he's a cool accessory for the NES, but it's quite confusing why he's now a Mario Kart character, and it was the first game that he ever appeared in, and the only one, which is quite strange. Now, a Mario Kart game isn't complete without its fun battle mode, and Mario Kart DS has a couple of good modes. You have the iconic Balloon Battle, and a game called Shine Runners, where you drive around the course trying to collect more shines than everyone else. But with Balloon Battle, you can blow into the DS mic to inflate your balloons, but if you lose them all, you're out. Mario Kart DS has 6 battle stages, some great and some okay. The good ones consist of the Nintendo DS and one of the best stages of all time, Block Fort from Mario Kart 64. Then the okay ones are the other 4 battle stages, Twilight House, Palm Shore, Tart Top and Double Dash's Pipe Plaza. Another thing Mario Kart DS has to offer that's been in no other Mario Kart game is its mission mode, which consists of 6 levels with 8 stages and a boss battle within the levels. You'll be driving through gates, collecting coins, driving a course backwards, beating a track before your opponent and much more. And like I said, there are 6 boss battles at the end of each level. You've got bosses like Irock from Mario 64, Goomboss from Mario 64 DS, and King Boo just to name a few. The mission mode is loads of fun and I'm surprised Nintendo haven't brought it back in some of the newer games, like 7 or 8. It would just fit perfectly with those games and I really hope that it's eventually brought back. One more quick thing I wanted to talk about before I wrap this video up is that Mario Kart DS was the first game in the series to introduce online multiplayer, where you can race against people from around the world. But unfortunately, the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection for DS and Wii ended on May 10th, 2014, which was over six years ago. But there are still ways to play Mario Kart DS and Wii online. I haven't tried it myself, but I definitely will try it with Wii one day. I'm not 100% sure with DS, but I'll look into it and see what I have to do. But you're still able to play the game with friends by creating a group and letting them join through DS download play in the menu if they don't have the game. And there you go. That's all I have to say about Mario Kart DS. The game is aged pretty well in my opinion and looks great considering it's on a small handheld device that came out over 15 years ago. I've considered making this my favourite Mario Kart game but Wii is just too good, but DS without a doubt takes the number 2 spot. I've been enjoying making these videos where I talk about specific games, so if there's any game you want me to make a video on, let me know and I'll consider it. But anyway, thank you for watching, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all soon.